here how my wall used to look earlier and here how it looks now after I added the wallpaper. So let's get started. So there was an old TV there. So I removed that TV and I'll be putting it back. Now this is the old look and I'm going to put the new wallpaper, stone look wallpaper and let's see how it looks. I have this stone finish wallpaper and this cost about 35 bucks. There are different types of wallpaper and this wallpaper is vinyl and it's really thick one, three layers and make sure you are getting the right one. There are different types of wallpaper. I have seen one is paper based and this is the vinyl and this is the good one. So make sure you choose the right wallpaper. First step would be to measure the areas and height of this wall and we have to cut the wallpaper accordingly this wallpaper covers about 56 square feet and this is 33 feet long now i have to cover this area and 56 square feet is uh, enough to cover this area now if you need multiple rolls then you need to calculate and once you calculate the square feet area it won't be exactly uh, the area that will fit by this wallpaper so you need to buy more uh, there will be a lot of wastage when you match the pattern in this wall so you need to buy few extra which you can return at the store if you don't need it so first step would be to cut the wallpaper according to the height of this wall this is also self adhesive wallpaper there is a dry adhesive back of this wallpaper so here are the tools you will need the trim guide a smoother tool sponge few bands knife pen measuring tape a wet cloth utility knife to cut the wallpaper you can buy this from home improvement store then i use a cartoon box and wrapped with a trash bag over it and we'll pour water and soak the wallpaper here i laid down the whole wallpaper the first one i cut it into size and the second pattern is matched here and i took additional two inches either side so the third one pattern is matching right here and I have this much wastage so I have to cut and throw this additional piece now I cut the entire wallpaper according to the size so here it is all the size and everything measured pattern has been measured and it has been cut according to the size now i'll number it accordingly all the wallpaper according to one two three and four and then top and bottom so we are not confused when we paste into the wall this would be number one left top so one top then you have to fold inside out now at the bottom I'll say one bottom now I tied it with a band Now I have all the wallpapers numbers and rolled inside out. So I'm cleaning in the entire surface with clothes and make sure there is no dust. So I have a moist sponge to clean the surface as well to make sure it is completely clean. I have about 4 inches of water in this. Now I'll dip this roll into the water for 30 seconds. Dip it well to make sure the water covers the entire blue area and no more than 30 seconds. Okay. Now slowly take this out of the water. and then lay it on a flat surface you can also fold it like this so that the adhesive is not quickly dry 
and also if the wallpaper is too long you can fold it this way then hang it on the wall now we leave this for about three to five minutes because this wallpaper will absorb the water and it will stretch itself so give it time about three to five minutes before putting onto the wall with the smoother tool smooth it down don't press too hard otherwise the adhesive will come out just lightly Then with the trim guide and a sharp utility knife, remove the excess wallpaper. After cutting the excess wallpaper, uh, remove the glue using a cloth. I match the pattern with the previous one and overlay the wallpaper about 20 mm on the previous one. With a smoother tool, smoothen it. For corners, cut out with a scissor diagonally. Lay it over. So on this carved edges, I'll cut with the scissor. Then take out with the utility knife. So this is the finished one. It looks absolutely stunning. It looks like real stones and absolutely looking amazing so here is the before and after you can see how dull it was and now how good it looks so I'll be mounting TV over this so this is the final setup wallpaper looks really nice and I'm pretty happy with the results as you can see here it looks realistic stone texture on top of the firewall and it's pretty cheap thanks for watching